one, two, three, this is the interview for the neurosurgeons. Super. So, first question. Don't ask any difficult questions. First question. I am Mohamed Raz. I am a neurosurgeon working in Glasgow. Originally came from Egypt about six years ago. Um, I've been a neurosurgeon since 2011. Spent five years back in Egypt doing neurosurgery, then moved to Oxford to do my master's degree, and then um, moved between different hospitals in London and then finally in Glasgow for the last three years. Uh, other things on the side being a neurosurgeon, one of these are the neurosurgeons channel and a lot, a lot of other things on the side. Uh, I have two daughters, Noura and Aisha, they are seven and eight year old. I, I didn't intend to be a neurosurgeon to be honest. <laughs> I always loved to be a surgeon of some sort and the way that we choose the specialty back in Egypt is that you, it depends on your ranking in, in your class. I rank it in the first 100, that's out of um, above 800 um, uh, graduates from this class. And then you get the chance to choose and then at that stage my rank gave me option of urology, urological surgery, a and &E, um, and um, general surgery or neurosurgery. I thought neurosurgery is the most fine out of these and that's why I chose neurosurgery. The short answer, I don't think they understand the full details. Um, funny enough, recently I was talking to one of my close relatives and I mentioned that I do spine work and he was surprised he thought we were just dealing with the brain. And that's kind of misunderstanding of what a neurosurgeon does, which is a combination of both. And actually spine is, is a big part of the practice. Um, my parents are not um, medics, but they have um, a very good understanding of the medical field anyway. So um, with all the discussions of what I'm doing and what I'm planning to do, I think they understand a bit more than the wider family. I struggle with uh, managing my time. Um, that's a big thing that I'm trying to work on at the moment. I tend to procrastinate a lot about a lot of uh, things that I want to do. And um, what I need to do is just push it and just get it done. Um, time management is a big thing for me um, at this period uh, of time. So that's, that's, that's one of the main struggles. If I'm not a doctor, I will uh, start a business of some sort. I always love to have business. I have been involved previously in a, a family business and um, I used to read my, my brother business books from his university that he didn't read, but I used to read it. Um, so I, I, would, I would run a business. If it's early days like before, I, I, I always loved or wanted to be a pilot. Sixteen-year-old myself, I would say, think twice about before going to medicine. <laughs> um, it's a long journey. Um, I'm happy with what I have achieved up till now, but I might have considered other options if I had the chance to um, to think about it. Second, I would say, uh, get things done um, and don't delay things too, and don't overthink it. Just just get it done. Um, life is full of, full of challenges, to be honest. Um, 
that was a big challenge to me and my wife get married because she is from Tunisia, I'm from Egypt, we were both studying. I was just about finishing my uh, medical school and I, was, uh, I went to uh, residency uh, back in Egypt and uh, we got married when I was in second year of my residency and she was still doing her uh, internship here or it's called here FY1 or FY2 foundation year uh, program that she has. She had to move to Egypt to do part of it. But we, we didn't settle down together for a long period, probably two or three years. Um, so that was a big challenge and also from a financial point of view that was very difficult um, because my, my salary at that point was 2,000 Egyptian pounds which is divided by 20 now which is probably like 100 pounds, 100 Egypt, uh, British pounds. Um, so I always got support from my family uh, all the time. Um, and then there was a challenge to come to the UK where I spent a lot of effort and time to um, to get that done and to get my master degree in Oxford and to get a scholarship for that. So just just a glimpse of my challenges, but there are more more than that. <laughs> no. Um, I would love to leave them to do whatever they want and I wouldn't intervene of, if, if they want to be a, a, a medics, that's fine, but I will do my best to persuade them not to do that um, for obvious reasons um, that's beyond the length of this video to discuss. Um, I don't know, to be honest, pro probably a lot of things, but um, maybe I'm, I'm a bit more relaxed. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably ask her, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought of that question, but I believe she... she I mean, you know, the, the, the bottom line is that everyone looks in their partner in, 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 in a way, they think that there might be things that needs to be changed, but actually they don't need change because they complement each other and that's the reality. So I think we just, you know, uh, I can't live without her and she can't live without me. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, I think being a neurosurgeon and saying that you are a neurosurgeon is, is quite respectful. Everyone would respect that, even inside the medical community. Um, you know, it's, it's a prestigious kind of uh, position being a surgeon and not any surgeon, it's a neurosurgeon. Um, but I think I try to do my best to be nice to people and um, try to be easygoing and um, I think some people would find that nice and might respect me for this for this aspect.